in this example, we'll be showing some constraints as well as talking about the different languages and being able to solve for different variables within a single expression or equation. So with that, we'll get started. We have our single constraint here, A equals B plus C. Currently, its language is English. We'll change that later. But uh, we'll get started by running this example block and putting in values, 6, 2, and if I hit enter, then it will show me that 6 plus 2 equals 8. It shows me the causality right here. The way that I find that is I hit the settings button and then causality, and that will toggle that on and off. And what this means is since English is the language of the equation that's being run right now, it doesn't allow you to change these features. It's grayed out. But if I were to change it to MATLAB as my language, then these would not be grayed out. And we will show that next. So I'll stop this and then I'll go into my equation again, go into the constraints, and I'll change this language from English to MATLAB. Click OK there. Rerun the block. So it looks very similar at this point, but uh, I'll go ahead and do this the 2 plus. 2 plus 5 this time, hit enter. So it still works as anticipated, but uh, you can see these have the drop downs. So what we'll do this time is we'll change the target to a given and we'll solve for C. So we'll make C the target. So now if I change A to 9, it changes C to 7 so that it um, will solve the equation. And I can change either of these values and it will solve the equation. It does take a little bit of time to do that sometimes. Uh, then I can change this to the target, uh, B to the target, and make C a given. And I'll just change 5 to a 6. And you can see that it changed from 4 to 3. So 6 plus 3 equals 9. So this, this works as intended. To connect to MATLAB, you would go down to tools and then integrations and that's how I've connected to MATLAB. Moving on to our second example, what we've got is the Canon as our block and then we've got one of the kinematic equations that you're seeing here. So this is kind of like throwing a ball directly up in the air and it's coming back down and uh, we will go ahead and run this as well. One thing to note here is we're using MATLAB again, but the um, variable to the left of the equal sign also has the, the caret 2, which is to the second power. So velocity final to the power of 2 equals velocity initial to the power of 2, etc. So uh, what this is showing is that you don't necessarily have to have um, one variable on one side of the equal sign and then everything else on the other side, but it, it will still solve. So with that, we will add in our, our values here. Oops, I meant final height is eight. And initial velocity, make that 120. And when I do that, it will ask me which value I'd like. And so if you think about the equation, when you throw a ball from an initial height of zero to a final height of eight, you have two times in which that will happen. When you throw it up really hard and you hit eight the first time, then you would have a positive number because your velocity is still positive. It's still going in the upward direction. And you also have it in um, when the ball's coming back down when you would catch it and that would be your negative number. So let's say that uh, we're talking about when it's coming back down and then it solves for that value. So it is kind of cool that um, it works and it's kind of, it will, it will give you options and give you the root selection. So cool feature. And then it will show you all the values on the table if, if you're running Cameo 2021X. One more thing to note, I just went through all the different languages that you see here, and the only one that allows you to change causality is MATLAB when you, when you run it. 
The others that I haven't analyzed is the the ones in the integrations. So these other three might allow the causality as well. Hope that helps.